In this recipe, we're going to find our way around the Raspberry Pi's GPIO connector. One of the first things you should do if you're planning to use the GPIO connector on the Raspberry Pi is to get hold of one of these, print yourself off one of these paper templates that just tell you what all of the pins do. Um, this is called a Raspberry Leaf and you can download the PDF for, uh, for this from this URL. Let's um, start at the bottom of the GPIO connector and you can see on this side we have a 3.3 volt power supply. That is very low power. You can only draw about 50 milliamps uh, of current from that. So it's more of use really as a sort of reference voltage rather than to try and power anything at all substantial. You can draw a lot more power from the 5 volt connectors. These are essentially connected to the USB connection. So typically uh, anything that's supplying USB power to the Pi uh, will also have a few hundred milliamps to spare that you can draw off these pins okay. Um, under that of course we have the ground pin, GND, and we have a few ground pins dotted all over the board. Underneath the 3.3 volts uh, pin we've got a couple of pins SDA and SCL. Uh, these can be used as GPIO pins 2 and 3 um, 2 and 3 on a Raspberry Pi Model B Revision 2, which is what this is. If you're, if you're a very early adopter to the Raspberry Pi and you got one of the uh, Model B Revision 1 boards that actually have um, a black audio socket here instead of a blue one, then these, if you're using these two pins as GPIO pins, they're not 2 and 3, they're actually at 0 and 1. So there was a slight change in the pinout between versions. They have a dual purpose, so if you're using the I2C bus, then these operators SDA and SCL. On the other side, going back to this side of the board of the uh, connector, you can see we've got two pins uh, 14 and 15, uh, TXD and RXD is kind of their second purpose, and the TXD and RXD are for serial connection, a TTL level, that is a 5 volt level serial connection. Uh, so you can use that for connecting to serial devices like um, if you have a, a lot of GPS modules will operate on serial. Okay, we then have a sort of patch in the middle where we have a load of, we have basically general purpose GPIO pins. Uh, 27 is worth uh, making a little note about in that this is another pin that changed between the revision 1 and the revision 2 of the Raspberry Pi Model B. So on a on a revision 2 like this, it's pin 27. If you have a, a revision 1 board, then it's actually pin 21. Okay, moving down the board, um, this side, pretty much all the rest of the pins are either ground or general purpose I.O. pins that you can use for digital inputs or outputs. Um, on this side of the board, again, we have more GPIO pins that you can use, but these three ones here, near the bottom of the board, um, uh, MOSI, MISO and SCKL are um, for the SPI bus which is a different type of peripheral bus uh, that uh, you can connect various types of display and other, other things like that to. So they can be used as general purpose I.O. pins but if you're using the SPI bus then they'll function uh, as they have dedicated hardware behind them that can be switched on that makes use of that, that will interface with SPI devices. So that was a whirlwind tour of the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi.